we are streaming and yes, we are 40 minutes behind because of Dragon. It was not just because of Dragon. <laughs> we just uh we just pulled an ADHD and rambled for 40 minutes about absolutely fucking everything under the sun. Yeah, but anyway, uh first as SCP. a side note Oh, As a yeah. side note, Bright, at some point, I think it would be moderately entertaining if you just start the stream in the middle of us rambling about absolutely fucking nothing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, first SCP. SCP-818, I mean, 818, sorry, is a young male appearing to be approximately 7 to 12 years of age. Additionally, SCP-818 displays... All the signs of behavior consistent with low functioning nonverbal autism. The examinations of on site behavioralists and recover medical records show that a condition has been present for SCP 818's entire life. Hold on. What the fuck? Why am I getting a text message from my mother? Uh oh. Oh no. Uh uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Anyway, uh, it was just, me they wanted me to read a license plate and say what it means. <laughs> what? Uh, Damn, your did, family really is stupid. <laughs> did getting yelled at by that sergeant break something in them? <laughs> Anyway. <laughs> well, seeing as they didn't have a brain to begin with, I don't think anything of worthwhile was broken. Anyway, on with the SCP. SCP-818's physical features have a tendency to shift when active. However, during a resting state, it has been noted not have noted as having black hair and dark skin. SCP-818 cannot speak and possesses no known direct ability to communicate. SCP-818 has showed no need for nutrition or waste removal. But has been recorded breathing and presumably sleeping. SP-818 does not appear to age and has been known to shift between heights and weights, making any determination impossible. This coupled with the incomplete state of the recovered medical records leave much of SP-818's history blank. SCP-818 is potentially capable of changing the universe to on a fundamental level but its abilities have severely ha hampered by its impairment. The, the changes it makes are presumably an attempt to make the world conform to how it perceives things. Pigmentation in all objects have a tendency to, sh to shift and flow. Utensils and tools take on strange shapes, and sounds will animate from no discernible source. These effects have uh, demonstrated a range of approximately 10 meters. SCP-818 has also shown the ability to, to spontaneously generate matter. Nebulous objects have been noted to appear, particularly after sessions in which SCP-818 has been doing creative activities such as coloring or finger painting. Most of these objects remain for less than a few minutes before vanishing again, though some have been recorded for staying for several hours. Because of this, SCP-818's holding cell has been gradually stripped of all materials that may be used for these purposes. None of them created objects for more uh, no hold on. None of them created objects move further than SP eight one eight's line of sight, leading to Dr. Redacted's hypothesis that SP eight one eight is literally creating phosphenes uh, of phosphenes whatever. Possibly caused by the contrast of the colors from the arts and crafts and white walls of the, of its cell. Further testing is required to determine if this is true. SB-818 was recovered for, from what is believed to have been its grandparents' home and royal redacted, where it appeared been left since the deaths in 19 redacted from a presumably unrelated accident. One local banker and two re real estate agents were assessing the property when they encountered SB-818 their failure to return prompted local police to investigate. After redacted subsequent, subsequent disappearances, the foundation subsequent. Sus, subsequent disappearances, the foundation was alerted and special task force redacted was reported to investigate. Upon their arrival, data, data redacted. 
Dr. Redactus suggested that Dada redacted, <laughs> leading to SV-818's capture. That's a, that's a lot of redactus. <laughs> Believe that to any reality vendor, especially the especially powerful ones. Yeah, but I, I think it died in its sleep. It sounded like a he? Oh yeah, he, right. Oh wait. Hold on, I got it's neutral. Oh, wait, no, they killed it. The Foundation killed it. Out of why? Killed him! On January 17th, 20 Redacted, Dr. Redacted entered SP-818's containment chamber during its passive phase and administered an, an ejection of Redacted and Redacted, resulting in SP-818's first completely see cease breathing and then ceasing all other recorded body bodily functions. Autopsy reports show that the subject died of, of anaphylactic shock. Remains are re remanded to site redacted and are available for study. Right, so I I would uh, say Clef that was a that. I would say Clef did that, but that was too humane of a way to like That's well, was... Clef. not remotely humane. Fair point. Yeah, Clef would just pull a like, bullet. <laughs> yeah, it's not a gunshot to the head, so you know it's more humane than that. I would call it humane because bullets can actually kill people very quick. Oh yeah, no. Clef would. Oh yeah, Clef would probably get that sword again. I forgot what, what SCP it was. Probably get that sword and just run it straight through them like, a couple times. I was, going, oh, yeah, I was going to make the joke that. It uh when when it said Doctor Redacted did the termination, gonna make the joke that like if you just peeled back the black sticker that was the Redacted note, it it would just say Doctor Clef under. <laughs> Doctor. <laughs> Someone <laughs> awkwardly Something put left. a little I sticker there. I think the way they were killed reminds me more of Doctor Gears. Yeah. What did hmm. Dr. Gears do, or what does Dr. Gears Let's Dr. not talk about that. Anyway, let's oh, continue on the SCP. Oh, that's, no, that's what it. the fuck did he do? What did he do? Oh. Oh, uh, yeah, it's also dead, so... I mean, it's dead, so there's not much else we know. So, can we at least gender the person? They may have been a reality-bending SCP, but they were a person. Hold on, I can search. If they have... Oh, yeah, it was young male. So yeah, it's it has genders. He, he, him. I'm guessing at least. More like was were now, anyways. Oh my god. <laughs> I had to. I'm so sorry. I had to. It's the classic. I, I'm sorry. I had to. Talk about this poor person. That was both a reality bender and had mental difficulties, and you're like, more like, uh, was, were. I'm sorry. Trying to be respectful, and then there's the kid. <laughs> so what are we thinking? Should we put in spooked here or reassigned? Because, I, I mean, it's dead. He deserves <laughs> spooked here. <laughs> there was no prime reason why they killed him. It's just we're we're kind of it's kind of spooky. Let's kill it, <laughs> which is definitely how the SCP Foundation ideally should be acting. No, that's a whole different organization. That's the same organization that's not the SCP Foundation that changed what was once a harmless chair that wanted to help people into murderous fertilizer. Yeah, it's... Yeah, I, was, Mulch. I wasn't clear. I was being sarcastic. Sorry. Mulch. Yeah, you're good. You're right, Mulch. <laughs> Yummy. My grandparents got in an argument over Mulch yesterday. <laughs> like, I... So... I apparently forgot to add SCP-818's picture, so I just had to add that. <laughs> that poor dude! <laughs> like, 
either I dead or it didn't register it because it also didn't register 682 even though i damn well saw remember seeing it put in there so it could have just not registered it i just got straight fucking exploded <laughs> what should i be concerned should like should we be concerned or you know this is kind of like a usual thing it's pretty pretty usual okay so, good to know. I have to, I have to restart from the beginning of Purgatory now. Oh wait, it, it wait, it was in here, but uh, I didn't notice it. No. <laughs> so now we have, now we, now we have them on there twice. <laughs> we have them on there good. twice. <laughs> they deserve it. <laughs> okay. May 511 find you. 511? Yes. Forgot what that was. Basement cat. <laughs> Talking at. Actually, okay. So, so we all know fridge cats, right? Why is that not an SCP? I want more fridge cats. Shut up, dragon. But I do not care because it's not an SCP. Let's move. Yes. Oh. oh I just looked at the picture of the next SCP. Um, if you don't like things popping out of human skin, you might want to click off. Uh, uh, so walk away if you cannot handle that. How fun. Alright. Next SCP. Uh, SCP-835 appears to be a large mass of coral-like polyps weighing redacted tons. The individual polyps are larger than any known coral species, growing to more than one meter in diameter in some cases. A central mass is, is roughly oval-shaped with a very large polyp at, at each end. SCP-835 is incapable of locomotion and appears to anchor itself with large tentacles Protected from SP A three five pull-ups. These are, are used in feeding and are coated with a sticky adhesive substance. The denticles are also quite strong and have been shown to be capable of damaging plate steel. The coral of SP A three five is extremely hard, requiring high powered diamond drills to collect even small samples. SP A three five also grows at a very accelerated rate. Capable of adding 22.68 kilograms of mass every day. SP835 is susceptible to many chemicals, which cause SP835 to seal up and hold all growth for 24 hours, prompting the development and use of the suppression tactic A 8 A6. SP-835 emits a large mass of semi-liquid material several times a day from a large pulse at, on each end. This appears to be made of semi-digested solids, fecal matter, and s certain special matter. This mass uh -oh. is certain. Hatchet, I cannot say it with dragon hair. Does it start with a okay. J or a C? I'm not answering no, that. No. No, no, no. Okay. This mess also has Can't several. Answer that penguin. Yeah. Uh -oh. This mess also has several forms of virus, bacteria, and parasites. <laughs> Many of I have been found only within SP835. They be bacterium A35-I5 forms. A major concern for Timid due to data expunged. This coupled with the extremely hard shell of SP835 and a major obstacle to neutralization. Any force capable of cracking open SCP-835 will also cause a slurry to spread and cause additional infection from A35-I5. I, I, I accidentally clicked the thing. Gosh damn it. Alright. Alright. And that's the full description of this thing. Hold on. Sounds like a coral reef I never want to go near. Does that make it the COVID reef? 
Oh, apparently this thing is strong enough to pull children towards and eat it. I'm very happy that I am a fat fuck and not the average size of someone my age. Penguin, I'm pretty positive they take American children into account. American <laughs> children can also be eaten. <laughs> Even the chalkiest of children cannot get away. I I I feel called out. Disconnected. What the hell? How much was cut off? I think it was just really recent. So, so probably just me asking. All right, so uh, where should we put it? And if not, I can just re. I can just edit it in. On what that CP is. The well, question I have is, um, why did you mention, uh, like coming out through skin? Because the picture that popped up for me for this SCP has a bunch of tentacles sprouting out of the person's face. Oh, <laughs> I feel like that's a different SCP. No, it has so, an SCP but... number. It's from the rubber. Oh, that's why, because the rubber fucking sucks and everyone hates the rubber. I'm trying what are you going to say? Yeah, what hatchet. I'm trying to get at is, does that mean that there is more information that we should be gleaming from any other parts of the article? I basically gave you all the information that we would need to discover its danger. All the rest of it is just it talking about sailors just walking uh, the MTF sailor is just watching it. You know, that might actually have useful information. Why don't you read one of those? Yeah. Alright. Gosh. Damn cord. Oh. It was my phone's cord for charging. It kept got caught in something. Oh, oh. I thought you were swearing at Discord. That's what I thought too. <laughs> Fucking Discord. <laughs> Why right. is Discord the way that it is? Because it's Discord. Look at the name. Discord. I never really knew. Oh god. I think the funniest thing about that song is the fact that matter. All right, the here most we go. popular version of it is a fucking remix. It's not even. Here I we think go. It is, right. Anyway, oh, Dragon actually, Hush. It's a no, I was thinking of it. Created by uh, Gemstone. Yeah. Wait, no, I'm thinking of Entropy. Never mind. Yeah, anyway, on with the thing you want me to read. Alright. The first sign of trouble occurred when Corporal H was, while attempting to clear a jam in URV 1 sampling claw, reported in end with the words, Oh God, help me, help me. He then reported that some horrible tentacle thing had wrapped around his arm. And was dragging him towards a fucking mouth. And vocalized several distress calls. Jesus Christ, I can't do this. God fucking damn it. He he was just a kid. It was his first fucking mission. I should have kept my eye on him. Christ. Oh. Alright, here go here goes. Guess I'll let Sarge edit this for me again. So the thing grabbed the kid. It had fooled to rights. It had me fooled to rights. The entrance wasn't an entrance, it was just some cave. The real entrance was a big pull-up thing in the north end. It grabbed the kid and started dragging him towards the mouth. The top sides started to drag him up. But all they got was a snapped cable and the kid. He got pulled inside and eaten. Dad expunged. I got the car bringer on. We're just we're hooked together and top side starts witching us up. And we're not getting anywhere. I'm grabbing on. I'm telling him I'm not going to let go. 
but then the wind starts to seize up, and I feel this jerk on the tether, and it and it goes slack, and then we're both sliding into the, that damn thing. It was like Jesus, I need another drink. Fuck. It was like the only way you, I can think of. It was like you know that thing that doctors do when they stick a tube up. Not reading that part. It. <laughs> it sounds like he's talking about a colonoscopy. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I saw that on TV once. I was like that, except I was going down in the throat of some horrible underwater hell monster. Not up some. Not saying that again. <laughs> there were these muscular contractions. I guess they were slowly sliding us down the length of the tube. If we weren't wearing the hard suits, we would have been crushed. But it was, we were held so tight we could barely move, even with power assist. I managed to get my head up enough to see the kid's face. His fork plate was covered in vomit. Poor bastard had puke in his suit. I started yelling for him, trying to get him to say something. He managed to tell me he was alright. He was sobbing like a baby. I'm pretty sure if someone was being eaten alive, I would sob like a fucking baby too. <laughs> Yeah, being I don't. Eaten. I don't. Uh, I don't think any more information is going to be going through this. Yeah, I don't, yeah I don't, that's why I, I said. I that's why I didn't fully read because there's not much information. It's just them being eaten. All right, then I would say certain groups because there it, was some information we got from it. It's just not pleasant. We got yeah. the fact that this SCP is highly intelligent in some way, but that doesn't make it better. That just means really good at tricking people and eating them. I don't like that. Not a friendly eating. Mm -hmm. Actually, there's no such thing as eating someone friendly. I, um, and, um, and, uh, um, and what's, don't um, say anything, <laughs> Um, we, I don't like dragon. We no. need to avoid talking about shoe. Uh, <laughs> you avoid this there conversation. Is... Wait, oh yeah, I forgot. I remember that. Yep. There, there is a type of eating that is friendly, and that is all I will be oh, saying. No. Oh. Yeah, you know, like just a friendly picnic by the beach. You know, just, yep, totally just friendly mm -hmm. eating. There you go. Oh. Perfect, perfectly family friendly. Let's move the fuck on. Yes. Uh, I, uh, oh, I. Uh, yeah, I see. Did, you just, did you just remember what it was, Jerry? I ain't seen what? anything. <laughs> you are a pervert, though. Wait, what? Pervert? Uh, be being a pervert is not, uh, uh, is not contradicted by being asexual. <laughs> <laughs> it's, why why am why am I less perverted than bright? <laughs> why why am I being blind? <laughs> Listen, Bright. Who's who's the person who is most consistently, other than me or two, going to make dirty jokes in our friends group? I do it to be funny. Well still. Anyway, uh um, I would say group. certain groups because yeah. the thing doesn't move around or grow significantly. Yeah. You you just die if you get too close. <laughs> it's it's an insta kill button, but like not insta kill, and it don't it push the red button, dragon. Anyway. Don't push and the red button. It's not a button. And it's not a button. It's just an angry coral reef with tentacles. The only red button I know about. Is when you push it, you turn gay. What? Well, don't. Uh, people shouldn't push was... that button if they don't want to push the button. Yeah, anyway. I think it's for... too late now, seeing as I am a lesbian. I think it's too late. <laughs> I, I, I don't know why. Maybe you can double gay. Let's move on. I don't know why I got disconnected for some strange reason. What? Would double gay? Again? No, for like previously. Oh. Would double gay be like a double negative? Yes. No, I don't. No, I don't want. Super gay, like someone who's 
so like outwardly and inwardly queer, you look at them or near them and you can feel the gay arise from them. Like Wait. their own walking rainbow. I've seen them in San Francisco. Double gay is interesting. SCP-613. I think that's the number, right? For what? The gayest man alive? I'll double check. I don't think it's six. Nope, that's Wonder Bread. It's 2.30. You're yeah, way off. Okay, it's SCP-230. It's SCP-230. It's 2.30? Bright, when did you move to the UK? <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> anyway. How dare you insult Bright like that? She's anyway. not British. On to the next SCP. She's better than British. SCP-836 is, is the designation given to a condition occurring within clay, bricks, no, no, within clay, bricks, or concrete. Though secondary propagation can affect most known structural materials. The initiating factors, factors are currently subject to research, though the likelihood of SB836 appearance increases rapidly for structures over redacted years old. Initial stage of SB836 manifests as a deformation within the material that grows at an average rate of redacted grams per day. The mass increase seems to correspond to a density drop in surrounding material. The deformation is hydroscopic. Furthermore, that expunge, which seems to initially fuel the growth, dissection of SCP-836 instances show the inside alternating between solid layers in a foam-like interstitial structure. At this stage, SCP-836 poses little danger except for cases where it compromises integrity of de delicate structures. If SCP-836 comes into contact with, with Live wiring, it enters growth stage, which initially manifests in what appears to be a metallic mesh growing on the surface of deformation and connecting to the wiring. Examination has shown this to be effect uh, separate loops. This allows SBA36 rate of growth to increase up to redacted fold. At this point, the deformations often superficially mimic surrounding environment resulting in outside resemblance to structural features, along with uniform density drop in surrounding material. SB836 at this stage can grow by repurposing entire sections of its surroundings if lacking access to water sources at this stage. SCB836 exhibits somewhat slower growth and causes large redu reductions in environmental humidity. Once SP-836 specimens weighing at least 0 kilograms come into contact with the source of flowing water, such as piping, they tend to enter proliferation stage, though the precise conditions required are unknown. At this stage, outer layers of deformation crumble and enter the water stream. On first contact with most solids, growth similar to initial phase occurs. In this manner, SP-836 is able to propagate rapidly in one observed instance covering roughly redacted square ki kilometers in redacted days. It is shown that heating instances of SV836 in over 950 degrees Celsius for up to four minutes neutralizes most non-metallic samples. For metallic samples, applying warm nitric acid has been shown successful. Okay. Can I get like a clipped notes version of the last couple of minutes because my Discord decided to make me deaf? Basically, it can affect the water system and electric systems in the house if it gets to it and it, get, and it spreads a lot quicker because of it. So, probably a certain group? Yeah. I know one person who doesn't have. The weird thing is, this is a keter, but it, it does not say it affects people. It just affects housing. 
Well, think of this. If it spreads everywhere, then where will people live and how will people get water? Right. Like, it does it absorb water? Let's see. Let's go back people here. People typically get the water from the pipes. Yeah. Yeah, it de it deforms, crumbles, and enters the water stream, and it and it, it turns solid. So it basically fills up the pipe. What happens if a plumber tries to be a plumber? What? I think Mario would fucking die. Oh my god! Well, that's the thing. It hasn't mentioned that it's dangerous to people. Right. I I I don't know. Also, Is there are more in the the notes under the main thing to, that says what happens if a plumber tries to clear it. It just says that you have to on metallic samples you have to use nitric acid. On non-metallic samples you have to use nine hundred fifty degrees Celsius. Cut type of heat or fire. So flamethrowers would be useful. <laughs> oh yes, cheery hatchet. I did not put a TikTok de demonstrating exactly Bright who Bright is, pretty much. <laughs> but it, I, I mean, I got added for it. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I can't watch it at the moment, but, uh, anyway, so what should we do with this? Oh. So, basically, it unintentionally harms humans. Not intentionally. It just, oh. it, it, it kind of just sounds like some bizarre version of mold. Yeah. Yeah. Well, mold could kill people, actually, it can. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, it's just sitting there, and it unintentionally harms people, but in this case, it unintentionally harms people by interrupting their showers. <laughs> and electricity. And Fair electricity. Did you drink water? Fair. So, uh, I would say, well, does it, like, easily spread between different buildings? Was I that think it, I think it was, like, Older buildings, it spreads quicker, but like it was redacted yeah, on what the age of the house is, so we have no idea. Yeah, but, <sighs> but I mean, if it spreads quicker with newer houses, New York would be a nightmare. Oh God! <laughs> yeah, but it's it's the sort of <laughs> it's the sort of thing that like within a quote unquote developed nation. Yeah. It could fairly easily be dealt with, but it could absolutely wreak disaster on a second or third world country. Yeah. <laughs> Especially in places that have a lot of shanty towns. Like, oh god, Mexico City could be, oh. Oh god. That could be awful. Besides that, um... I, I think city is appropriate here. Yeah. Because, like, I don't think many people, barring certain places this showing up, I don't think too many people will be, will be directly killed by it. But it would be an unimaginable economic strain on a place that gets hit by this stuff. That sounds about right. And since it has to go through buildings and or masonry, stuff like that, uh, once it gets to a city's edge, it's likely not going to spread any further. So, city. Actually, there's lots of times when something's taken out of one city and it's put into a different city because they're being um, cheap with construction materials. That's true. But... Uh, I do that with Items you think they shouldn't reuse. So but your uh, person already lived its life expectancy. Okay, so here's the thing. I know it's not in America because it was first discovered in recovery 
and the Slavic Republic. I don't know where that is. If it's in the Slavic Republic, then I'd have to say I am a lot less afraid. I, I think, I, I still like think Poland cities are appropriate. Yeah. No. Yeah. Well, like, Sla <laughs> Slavic places tend to be further east. But I guess Poland would probably be cl close to it. What the hell are you saying about my but ancestors, yeah. dragon? I wasn't even trying to be mean. I was just asking. <laughs> I know, I'm just Christ. being an asshole. <laughs> After all the shit you've put us through today, you deserve it. <laughs> I do. You brought up Vosh being stupid, and that's all it takes. Yep. That's not my fault that he's an idiot. It's not my, <laughs> but it is your fault for bringing it up. Yep. <laughs> anyway, uh, anyway, so everyone's in agreement with City. Yeah, City. Yeah. What, Jerry, what was that? And then, okay. Also, I want to point out that Slavic does not just refer to Middle East. There's also uh, Slavic people in Russia and other places in <laughs> Europe. Middle yeah. East? I think Hatchet said the East, not Middle East. Oh! Yeah, I was talking Middle Eastern Europe. Yeah. Not Middle Eastern Europe, Eastern Europe. What the... Ah. <laughs> Middle wasn't a part of it, god damn it. <laughs> I got I I, I I am fairly confident that Slavic regions do not refer <laughs> to Iraq. <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> Yes, I'm finally back. Oh. Who is Lucky Ye? Uh, they are a viewer uh, from a while ago. Oh, okay. Sweet. Regular Glad you're back. Yeah. Wasn't sure if that was like uh, someone that I knew that I just didn't know the It is. Twitch you just tag. have to figure it out on your own. Totally. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. I... Uh, I will harm you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Next SCP uh, is SCP-858 is a migrating not-lucent cloud which affects source cloud formations beneath it. Presence of SCP-858 can, can be easily identified by the, the iridescent fraction within circus formations which one once affected descend until person Precipitation ensues, and I'm good. Uh, contact with precipitation from affected clouds immediately and permanently alters solid matter on contact, while apparently non-reactive with blasts, gases, and liquids. Solid state reactions cause the molecular. I don't know why. Molecular. molecular. Why did fuck did I have so much trouble saying that fucking word? <laughs> My you brain just died. It. You almost got it, but I think you like. I think you just second guessed yourself. Yeah. Anyway, but bonds of affected items to act as a vector, conducting the effect until the entirety of affected objects or organisms is repelled by, rather than attracted by gravitational force. Force materials act as a secondary vector as affected water trapped in the substance, in no way loses its effectiveness. Bearing su sufficiently sturdy objects secured to sufficiently massive objects embedded or otherwise secured to Earth's surface, this results in the affected object accelerating away from Earth's surface at 9.8. It says m slash s squared. I don't know what that is. Meters per second. Yeah. All right. Meters per second squared. Upon contact with SPA58 itself as roughly. 80 kilometers above sea level, affected objects vanish. And that's the description. So basically, if you get touched by this water, you get blown out of the atmosphere. 
<laughs> this sounds fun. I forgot this was I forgot this was used on 682. <laughs> Why would they do that? <laughs> he didn't leave the atmosphere if I remember correctly. I think he just got lifted up a bit and then just dropped. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but I just don't like the idea of launching the over the top uh super powered lizard into space. I think it's funny actually. Someone honest, else has to deal with it, large, not us. Large hey, hey, hey. Who doesn't like the idea of taking a lizard that's possibly older than dinosaurs? Grabbing it and launching it into space to see if it'll die. Me, I don't like that. Well, then you're a loser. Wait, what happens if you throw it into the sun? It probably. <laughs> it, it, Remember, it doesn't do shit. It would kill the sun. Well, Remember, since it doesn't do shit because it has already been thrown into the sun. Oh yeah, it has. <laughs> I'm surrounded by imbeciles. What about dark matter? Dark matter. Uh, let's not. Dark, dark matter would exist around it anyways, so that dark wouldn't... matter would. Dark matter would exist everywhere, and it's currently literally just a hypothesis. I... We don't know that dark matter even exists. I'm we will find out sure someday. We made dark matter before, just not stable. Have we made oh, antimatter oh. stable? I thought dark matter was just emos. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have a brain hemorrhage. Dragon's just gonna slowly uh, get rid of us in death by just talking. <laughs> that's my plan. Just it... by spouting nonsense, yes. Yeah, that's my plan. I'm trying to slowly... I'm I'm taking years off of your life, <laughs> and I'm adding them to my own. Well, guess what? Oh, I'm what? gonna make that go against you and use it to like, in to make my life longer. <laughs> anyway, wow. and, and so, guess what? That'll probably. Ever... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I was gonna say, and guess what? You don't want to absorb anything from me because you'll probably become morbidly obese and have fatty liver disease. I'm already <laughs> oh a fat gosh. ass. Or you'll be oh. even a, you'll be an even fatter ass. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait. <laughs> hey, that's, that that could be you... taken wrong. That's not what I meant. <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> It depends on what wrong, quote unquote, wrong take you're talking about. Like, if you're talking about ass as an asshole, maybe. <laughs> That's what I was meaning the way it could be taken wrong. <laughs> ah, anyway, um, which, <laughs> where should we put this SCP? Um, I didn't catch whether or not it moves at all. It, it follows clouds, so yes, it moves. Uh -oh. <clears throat> oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so it, it it's follows literally the just like... clouds. Okay, okay. So it's literally just a special thing that goes around in the atmosphere, and if you touch it, you get launched into orbit. As a side note, this sounds like it could be very useful to NASA. <laughs> Don't let Elon Musk have it, though. Besides that, um, the only threat I could imagine is if, like, a plane collided with it. Yeah. So, like, maybe certain group in that instance, but, but, like, yeah. Yeah, it's not really that dangerous unless you get hit with the water. But, I mean, if you're in a building or whatever, it's not going to really affect you. Wait, would it be able to pick up the building? 
<laughs> well, Wait a minute. Like, if I'm not mistaken, those clouds that it talks about it following are some of the highest flying clouds. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. So, like, it's almost certainly not going to reach the ground. I, w- I would say certain groups under the, 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 the low chance that some unfortunate pilot mashes into it, but otherwise not particularly uh, dangerous. Yeah, I agree. Wait, is that what happened to Amelia Earhart? Did she oh touch this God. and get yeeted out of... <laughs> <laughs> Did she touch this and get yeeted no. out of the earth? We all know she crashed in the ocean and has been dead a long time. Just there's a lot of people who are too stupid to accept reality. Listen. Listen. Oh, she, okay. She would be dead in that situation, too. Yeah, no matter what, she's fucking <laughs> dead. Like, this happened in the 30s, okay? She's she's long gone. But she's you see... In our hearts. In spite of old but, age. but you see... But, but you see... Here's the thing. Or the cigars we kept didn't. Up. We haven't been able to actually find the plane, so this is still feasible by ancient aliens logic, because Has we have no. As someone who ta- took classes in archaeology, I hate ancient alien theories now. Oh yeah. Oh yes, that is entirely valid. I feel like, I feel okay, like the like hit, the like Hitler's alive theories. They feel like. They feel like the ones that make me more angry a little bit. At least a Wait, little bit. If I remember correctly, aren't like a lot of uh, from the show Ancient Aliens, aren't like a lot of those theories like incredibly racist? Yes. 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 Absolutely. It, 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 the, the, the show Ancient Aliens largely consists of a bunch of white guys searching through ancient cultures, a lot of which are people, like the vast majority of which are people of color's cultures looking at them and saying, hey, look at this thing that they talked about. This is aliens. And then when someone says, what do you, like, what, like when someone says, wait, that's just, that's just a cultural thing or that's a religious thing, or maybe they're just smarter than you let on, they'll respond with something on the lines of, well, they're, they were stupid. They didn't understand what they were seeing. It was a misinterpretation. What? what? Yeah. Because if you think about it, they speak about every non-white culture besides white culture. Even talking about the Christian Bible is technically talking about Middle Eastern religion, not about yeah. a white religion, even if white people grabbed it later and ran with it like a I've never heard things like, oh, this thing from ancient Germany or this thing from ancient Sweden. Nothing like shit like that. Just like, oh, Egypt or like one of the countries that used to be in the Spanish area of like North America. Uh, so, like, do you mean the uh, you know, Maya and Latin? Aztecs? Yeah, the Mayan and Aztecs. Those you are know, pretty good. a few others, I think. Yeah. Oh yeah, that <laughs> that just brings me back to a really funny moment. So, uh, like, uh, if you're from an ancient culture that's not white, eventually ancient aliens comment on it. The yeah, only exception, the, the the there's there's I I think there's two reasons why this is well maybe three reasons why this is the case. One, technically there is one exception, Stonehenge. Oh yep. my gosh. Yeah. I want to know what didn't someone's grandpa steal like a piece of it and then he returned it like later on. I don't. Know. I'm pretty Two. sure. Two story about that. If I remember correctly, like um, the I the Irish were like like not seen as like white for like the longest time too, so that could. No. So like, and be- besides that. Uh, I think a part of it could also be that generally they tend to want to pull from periods of history that are further beyond what is generally more accessible within Europe. Like, for instance, when they're wanting to uh, 
do like when they're they're when they're going out trying to find this information, they're generally going to be looking in places that uh, uh they're going to generally be looking in places that had a lot of activity uh before uh BC before but BC BC is Europe also had a lot of activity before BC yeah but those are uh like while those areas obviously had a lot of activity those areas are also some of the places where we have the least archaeological information about what yeah. happened there and from oh, cultures that generally huh we have quite a lot from those areas actually well like in terms of like what's generally known yeah like most of the neanderthal remains and culture bits are from different countries in europe and we have a lot of their culture they okay yeah that's fair also, yeah. how did this whole conversation spread off from a fucking cloud SCP? Uh, because I <laughs> because I made the joke that I was going to go full ancient aliens and say that because you can't prove that a that Amelia Earhart didn't get yeeted out of Earth by this SCP, <laughs> that means that it's a possibility that we have to consider. And so basically, or, or like the most one of the most memed of them would say it's it's got to be aliens yeah. <laughs> it's so, alien this or, scp it's aliens so basically what you see you're saying hold on as it based what you're saying is amelia Earhart saw the space orca perhaps uh, yeah because that is well, an scp there's an orca in space Yes, I know, but I actually, I highly doubt that she would have been able to see it because she'd probably die the second she left Earth's atmosphere. <laughs> Fair. <Yeah. laughs> I, think, I think another thing with ancient aliens is a lot of the cultures that they talk about are still around. Yeah. yeah to like, some they talk degree, about it yeah. like it's dead and shit, and it's like, people from those cultures still exist. The culture has just changed. Yeah, anyway. Like, it still exists. Or, it's just... or they have, or they have been uh, large, like, to a large extent pushed under the radar thanks to colonialism doing a colonialism. Anyway, yeah, let's move true. on to the next SCP. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just, before we do that, listen. Uh, sorry. Uh, I'm getting added and my brain just died. Hmm. Which there's a clip here. What does this clip say? He made it. Uh, well, lucky did. Yeah, lucky did. You have been clipped, Hatchet. <laughs> A lot of clips are either no. me or Hatchet. I'm glad nothing I ever say is clipped, which is weird because I say the most. Yeah, this clip. this was a conversation between you and I that was clipped. So technically, <laughs> yes, we're a part Do of I the sound conversation. Smart in it? No. Do I sound smart? no, it was it was from the conversation where you were talking about sucking away people's life sources. <laughs> anyway, anyway, on to the uh, SCP. Thank, uh, sorry, I have to say this. I have to say this before we get off of ancient aliens. One, thank you, thank you for the lovely clip, Lucky Yi. Uh, besides that, uh, my brain just like right. Just to exemplify, one of the funniest things I've ever heard come out of Ancient Aliens, that just extra demonstrates how little these people actually understand about anything. Uh, you see, I. Uh, very graciously forced Chu at one point to uh, sit down and do a viewing party with myself and Aderna looking at a Quentin Reviews video talking largely about History Channel and as such largely about ancient aliens. And one of the clips that was featured in there was uh, the these two white guys walking up to something in like an archaeological site in uh, I want to say Central America. I'm guessing it was around. They, they, they didn't 
touch anything, right? Please? Let oh, alone take anything with them. They, oh, they it, likely oh did. Oh god. They did take, oh, god. They did take oh, something from oh, one oh, place. That's 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 something that Quentin talked about later on. Yes, they do that shit constantly because they're fucking. Uh, but besides that, they walk up to this like statue that had been created, and they they look at it, and they notice that the statue is showing like guy that has like a mustache, and one of these guys goes. You see, this statue has a mustache, and that's strange, because American Indians did not have beards or mustaches. Wait, what? That's something they deadass said. Full beard and mustache, and he was, he definitely, oh my gosh. So, it wasn't this, like, wait, didn't didn't you say Latin America, though? Like yeah, that, isn't like, Latin America? Like Central America. Oh, like that's like there's there's still Native different Americans groups of people that have beards. Like, I'm not sure who needs to hear this, but Native Americans can have beards. Yeah, like yeah. Also, These like, people don't know shit. <laughs> the the way that uh oh, the 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 other very good um equivocation equivocation analogy that quentin used is these guys are the like cold war era equivalent of if you had a christian that just went around the world looking at all sorts of different mythologies barely understanding them and arguing that it was all actually jesus in a wig trying to mess with people anyway all right christian did that at least once they have mm-hmm. done that. Anyway, sorry, um, sorry, sorry to detract from your SCP stream. Uh, we had to talk about something stupider. I have no idea how long we were talking about this shit. <laughs> I'm willing to guess at least a half hour. Probably. Anyway. Anyway. By getting upset at Hatchet for saying something ancient alien related, my inner historian screamed. I'm yeah. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, That's on fair. With the SCP. I think. I wait. I think this SCP and the previous one are connected. It w- if connected, it would be really hazardous. <laughs> hmm. SCP eight six one is a uh one thousand one hundred seventy liter mass of liquid superficially resembling water with a fixed temperature of twenty seven degrees centigrade. Any amount of material that is forcibly displaced from the central mass will dissipate, and SCP-861 will generate an equal amount of new material to replace this loss. SCP-861 continuously emits a flame of variable color, generally violet or indigo. This flame generates no identified heat, and is non-hazardous to contact. The mass is capable of locomotion through an unidentified process, and is capable of scaling any surface at any observed maximum speed of 47 kilometers per hour. SCP-861 gravitates towards the presence of human beings, a distance of approximately 50 meters or closer being sufficient to determine presence. If while traveling SCP-861 is obstructed, it will increase its mass until said obstruction is destroyed by the exerted pressure. Human beings with a radius of, of roughly 30 meters surrounding SV 861s report hearing a, a continuous vocalization producing a song in, in an unknown language. No physical acoustic component to this phenomenon has been detected. The, the locomotion, uh, I mean, lo- localization is described by subjects as va- vaguely human voice of indeterminate gender. A complete Phonetic transcript of the song has been documented with an approximate duration of 7 minutes and 45 seconds. Subjects exposed to SV861 will allege that they understand fragments of the lyrics but will deny any familiarity with the language. The quantity of the song material understood as well as its placement within the overall composition 
vary widely from subject to subject. A compilation of redacted tests indicate a correlation between subjects with certain prominent character traits, including kindness, patience, and humility, and song composition. These subjects demonstrated a comprehension percentage as high as 89%, allowing for a redacted percent of the song to be translated. SCP-861 will demonstrate a reaction of certain subjects that has since been designated as choir band. These individuals appear to process cruel and arrogant character traits. Uh, through data in this area is limited, subjects capable of provoking a choir event described the entity's song as entirely incomprehensible. The psychological threshold of provoking a choir event has not been entirely determined, but appears to be, sens uh, be sensitive. Choir events consist of SCP-861 advancing upon the subject and forcing itself inside their body using various orifices as access points. It should be noted that termination of the subject will not prevent SCP-861's reaction or the completion of the event. Once this is complete, data expunged various forms designated SCP-861-A observed forms in include a vaguely humanoid entity with elongated arms, underdeveloped legs, terminated in crude tendrils, and a quasi prehensile elongated neck, a cluster of ophidian entities, each roughly 50 centimeters in length, each entity possessing a head resembling uh, that of a hum humanoid infant, a humanoid soldier, possibly the 4th or 5th century at Anatolian origin, I don't even know what that is, but anyway, that expunge existing with extra dimensional origin, destruction of entity resulted in destruction of 15% of sector 135 861, and a creation of a spatial anomaly which deteriorated 45 hours after onset. Regardless of its current shape, SP 861 A emits a flame similar to that of its resting state. But in a white or golden hue, the entity will emit to inject this flame at any given target in its in the vicinity. Upon contact, said target will become engulfed in, fl in the flames and be rendered completely unresponsive, but will stand with their eyes closed for as long as they are physically able. Unlike SCP A61 normal flames, however, the subject will burn over a period of two to three hours. Flames produced by burning human Organic material will, will reproduce the song normally produced by SB861 at rest, though at a different pitch. Flames ejected at, by SB861 A will quickly dissipate if they do not reach a human target and do not appear to ignite any substance other than living human beings. After any SB861 A entity is terminated, its body will exclude SB861 which will return to a resting state. The reason why I said it's combined because if this like brings humans closer to the cloud, then they would get sent to the atmosphere. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> That's why I said it would be bad combination. Oh. <laughs> just it it just turns into a mobile people cannon into the sun. Yo. <laughs> I approve of that, actually. Of course you would. By the way, uh, in dumb posts, um, Lucky Yi has done the good deed by clipping the child. <laughs> because she said that she had not been clipped. I mean, he. Or My brain just died. Wait, Dragon, uh, didn't you say you're a trans now or something? What? But trans. Yeah, my brain just died. I said By the I'm way, a lesbian. Look. I've realized that I am a lesbian. Yeah. Listen, what were your pronouns again? He, him. Right? They, them. Dragon?
I will now assume that your pronouns are meh and sudden loud sound from Jiro. Fire Red Emblem has gifted a sub okay. to Lucky I underscore Ye. They Thank you, Bookworm. You scared the shit out of me. Thank you. They it bird. They it bird. <laughs> they it bird. Gotcha. Okay, yeah, I was just double checking because. Yeah, Actually, can Lucky I have Ye. Bird, bird, they it bird. Okay, I heard you correct. They it and bird. Mm-hmm. So yeah, l lucky. Yeah, bird like... lesbian. Okay. No, so, I'm yeah, a lucky... penguin lesbian specifically. Little misgender in there, but let's just be frank. I forgot myself. So yeah, that's that's fair. <laughs> Don't you misgender yourself commonly? Oh my gosh, dragon. Who me? Yeah. Not, not really. Fair point. Anyway, not really because he still uses. Like I, I, I use okay. any. Pro I, I'm fine with any pronouns. I am a gender. The A stands for apathy. Therefore, I am apathy gender. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Could not care less. I think, uh, a gender. I think that's called having gender apathy. Well, I've. Like the stuff that I've been feeling has also been described as agender by several people I know who are agender. So well, you are both agender and have gender apathy because I do know agender does not mean gender apathy. Nah. All right. I thought anyway. agender meant lack of gender. Like for me, again, like the best way I can describe it is if gender is a box, there's like a box in my brain. I don't know what's in that box. I don't even know if that box has anything in it. But I also don't care. <laughs> That's fair. Also, uh... Um, so where should we put it? Because this could get very dangerous. If it was, like, yeah. thrown into a city. <laughs> I feel like, at worst, maybe, like, a country? Just, just remember, as dangerous as it is, doesn't it just look like normal water, even if it doesn't act like it? Oh, it has water that has a flame. <laughs> oh, I forgot the flame part. Flame. Okay, flame. Not to mention, like, it moves on its own accord, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, but I've seen water move on its own without flame. The flame is the dead giveaway. What does the flame give away? That is not normal water. Normal water doesn't <laughs> exactly have flame. Well, that was well, like it, it was also mentioned that it will like if something obstructs its path, it will just ex like yeah, it will just expand until it either moves it out of its way or destroys it. So you basically, it becomes yeah, rumor. That seems perfectly normal for water to me. Water does not spontaneously expand. Have, <laughs> is that not normal? No. Uh oh. It cannot uh -oh. just. It's it's not normal for water that molecules. Is what it, to is that it is it is not normal uh -oh. for water molecules uh -oh. to reproduce uh -oh. via. Are you Have you met this SCP in real life? Is that what the thing that, that is that the thing that's in my sink? What? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> what? Uh -oh. What? Uh -oh. <laughs> I don't think your sink's big enough. <laughs> or it's very comfortable in there. <laughs> it's Are you saying the sink is like a cat with a shoebox? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's it... contained inside of my inside of my bathroom sink. Actually, we should uh pull this around, and rather than a cat in a shoebox. Mm -hmm. It would be a cat in a fridge. <gasps> anyway, cat. Back what? To... Scroll up, scroll up on no, dumb posts. No. Scroll up on dumb posts. Dragon shut up. Anyway, back to to SCP. <laughs> My head hurts. So where should we put this? <sighs> we we know it's dangerous. But it depends yeah. on how we should do if it. it if it decided that it was just going to walk 
or whatever the fuck it does on through uh, New York City. Goodbye, New York City. Yeah. <laughs> it also Bye. creates creatures. I forgot about it. It creates no, creatures. That would even further yeah, fuck up New York City. Important. Yeah, hold on. It creates a vaguely humanoid entity with elongated arms, underdeveloped legs, term uh, terminating in crude tendrils, and a quasi prancel elongated neck. A cluster of ophidian entities with a head resembling of a human infant, a humanoid soldier from the 4th, 5th century Anatolian origin, uh, a dead expunged entity that consistent with extra dimensional origin. So, in other words, New York is still fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be completely real. When is New York not fucked in these situations? Discord! Thank you. Sorry, I got so angry at Discord for constantly blocking me that I forgot what I was going to say. That's fair. Either way, I guess my first question is, I forget how large this actually is. Okay, it if is... They mentioned it. It is 1,170 liters. Oh, my. 1,170 liters. Hello, Google. Yes, I'm dumb. Has the foundation successfully contained it? Uh... That is 585 Coke two liter bottles. Yeah, it's three and 309.0813 US liquid gallons. 